out in a very calm Studland Bay and Pool to test this, the new XO270, the flagship of the range. And we've just been doing our photo shoot, jumping all over the wake, and it's quite a unique experience on board this boat, which has got a super sharp hull, deep V, 24 degree dead rise of the transom, and Yanmar's superb 370 horsepower V8 diesel. The upshot of that is, on a boat that weighs around 3,000 kilograms, it's incredibly, incredibly fast and incredibly responsive. Just nudge the throttle forward there, we're up straight up to 10 knots and we're planing already. And then from then on, you just surge the throttle forward and there's this constant wave of power coming from behind you as the boat just skips faster and faster towards the horizon. It's quite amazing really. We're up to 26 knots now and I haven't touched the trim, I haven't touched the leg. It's also easy, and that's what's so lovely about this boat. Shut that door at the back, shut these hatches up here, no matter what the weather is, and just go. However, if you do trim it up a touch, increase the revs to 30 knots, and the boat is just purring along. And it could do it in much rougher stuff than this, trust me. The other impressive thing about the way this boat drives is how grippy it is. It's got a single stern drive in the transom, and it really, it sort of hurts when you're going fast. It's so grippy. You can do flat out turns, 40 knots, wing the wheel over and it will turn around in absolutely no time at all. It doesn't slip. It, it, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, you know, we're only doing about 20 knots here, but you can, you can just see how easily it swings from side to side. And you do these really tight turns. Refuse this to budge an inch. As for the helmsman's lot, well, it's very good. Everything is exactly where you want it to be. Um, well, for my shape anyway, but everything's very adjustable. You've got the wheel right in front of you at chest height. Throttle falls to hand very easily, and you've got somewhere to rest your hand as well, both on the hub and uh, on this sill here. Very clear view of the chart plotter, the rev gauge, compass is slap bang in front of you. It's sort of a how to do a helm station sort of thing. And of course, the view is superb. You've got wrap around windscreen, the mullion's a long way back, so really the view out side to side is superb. And it's great when you're seated, but when you stand up as well, the view remains really, really good. And you can see out no problem. Uh, there's a step down here so that you can pull this back. <laughs> Stick your head out. Great for when you're going into the marina or something like that. The only slight downside is that all of the boat's main switches are down by my right hand side here. The bow area is the main outdoor social space on board and what's really nice to see is that all of these lockers you can see here, the hatches are on nice gas struts and every single one has got these really chunky catches on them which can be locked with a padlock. And then on the inside, they're beautifully smooth, really nicely finished. There's loads of room for lines, fenders, and any other kit that you might have on board. So here we are inside the wheelhouse. And um, things to notice are, first, how much headroom there is. I'm about six foot, you can see I've got room to spare here. And just how bright it is in here. The wrap iron windscreen really helps that, but you've got lots of glass either side. Obviously, glass doors aft, so it feels really bright. Although it's quite a compact space, it doesn't feel too claustrophobic. This area here is pretty clever. Obviously, you can see it's set up sort of table dinette in this guise, but this slots down like this, and the table can open up further. Uh, and it also folds down completely with an infill and you can have a bed there as well, which is quite nice. On this side of the saloon, you can see there's a small bench seat here with a bit of storage beneath. You can specify this area to have a galley, which will include a hob, a sink and a fridge. Obviously not something the owner wanted on board this boat. If you're upgrading from, say, a rib or a centre console boat, which predominantly most people who are looking for these boats are, then this area here proper sit-down heads is going to be a real advantage to what you're used to. But if you don't want that, it can just be spec'd as storage as well. 